G'day guys, Luke here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video guys, we've got an Eastern Bitter Dragon who's not too happy to see me. You got a big mouth. So that's how they pretty much threaten off any predators by puffing themselves up. Got the big mouth wide open. And sometimes if they get caught, they'll try and bite you. Now these guys aren't the most common pets in in the industry or in the pet trade. The ones you see quite often are the pygmy bearded dragons or the uh, central bearded dragons. <laughs> Sorry, that's what. What, 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 what? You okay, dude? You okay? Now, I've been told in the area I've been, there are heaps of these guys, and I was just walking through a bit of bushland here, and yeah, almost still in this little guy. I just looked up my foot where I was about to stand, and I see this black beard out of the bush. So, usually these guys range from a beautiful gold color like we use now to that black of his on the beard. Now, these guys, the way you can tell from a central bearded dragon to a eastern, it's basically the arrow, also there, just behind the head there. Obviously, he doesn't want me coming over the top of his head there. Yeah, okay, dude. Obviously, he's just hissing. Oh, if I can just get your head, dude. No, he's not gonna do it, but behind the heads, central bearded dragons have their sp spines back of their head almost in a straight line. These guys are more arrow shaped. Obviously these guys are found on the eastern coast of Australia, mainly on the Great Dividing Range. Not as common as they used to be. Uh, unfortunately, habitat destruction is slowly wiping these guys out. Now breeding season, males will usually have a big territory looking for females. And obviously being breeding season now, the females will lay eggs in the soil around here, in a suitable spot. Anywhere about five to about 25 eggs roughly, usually. And in about 60, 70 days time, they'll hatch out of the ground and there will be babies around. But obviously, I'm not sure what gender this one is. So he's been having a bit of a hard time. He's not getting the most food around here. So in the wild, these guys probably live between about 5 to 10 years. Roughly the same in captivity. But yeah, these guys will usually eat insects. Now, I'm not too sure if these guys are big on their greens. Because the ones I've seen in captivity usually take on insects. If rarely they'll eat the greens. But how's that, guys? An Eastern Bear Dragon? Can't believe that. Put him on the ground and see what he does. Yep. <laughs> he got stand and fight. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, dude. You're not a happy, happy lad. Put him back a bit. How's that, guys? <laughs> Not the friendliest of bearded dragons. Oh. <laughs> Off he goes. There you go, guys. That was the eastern bearded dragon. And that's his hidey hole underneath that bit of rock there. How cool was that? He attacked the camera. Alright, guys, we'll continue our way then. <laughs> oh, well. That was something I was looking for. An eastern bearded dragon. I've been told there was heaps around this area. And finally we found one. Now, who knows, I might find another one. But yeah, that is the Eastern Bear Dragon, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in another video.